if you guys don't know what this is, the steamy goodness, top ramen. When we're faced with crazy adversity and challenges, it's important to use the resources that are around us. Now, I'm not gonna speak about Top Ramen as if it's the best meal on earth, but it always reminds me of where I started and where I began in my career and the humble beginnings that I had of starting out eating Top Ramen. Now, I'm not eating Top Ramen anymore on a regular basis, but I still love the reminder of where I came from, where I started and where I'm at today. And I think it's important to remember where you began in your career, in your business and in your skills and stay humble. And this is a humbling thing for me to eat Top Ramen. So today I'm gonna eat some Top Ramen. And while I do that, I'm gonna share the 20 best apps that are free or cheap like Top Ramen. It's basically like eating for free and we're gonna have some fun. So without further ado, let's roll into it. All right, so the first app I'm gonna share with you is one of my favorites and it's called Google My Business. I go under my apps here and you look at Google My Business. I can open this up and you can see this is for Adrian Graphics and Marketing. I can upload photos, I can upload videos, I can put in offers, I can put in events, all kinds of great stuff that I can do here. I can see my reviews, I can share my profile. See, I got 10 stars currently or 10 reviews currently at five stars. One review that I haven't responded to. This is a great part. Then I can hit post. I can do an update. I can do an event. I can do an offer. I can do photos and videos, all kinds of really cool stuff. And then it'll show you your traffic. I'm actually down right now. And I think everybody's probably down because of what's going on. But typically, typically I have about 15% more than that. Let me just move that there. Um, and then I can go to customers. And I can see he's, these are the reviews that I have. These are some of the messages that I've gotten, which I don't think I've had any. Yeah, just Google my business. You can see your followers, which I don't have any followers on there yet, but this is a really great app. You can edit your profile. So this is what my profile looks like. You can see I got my, my profile image there. There's a Google my business functionality may be limited at this time due to COVID. Uh, just all kinds of cool stuff in here. Here's my short URL to be able to get to my page, my address, my hours, the services that I provide. You can see all that, a lot of great stuff. My mission, I can hit view all. And then you have more. I can go to my website, I can manage users, I can add people. So this is a really great tool, really good, good way to grow your business. And one of the most effective ways that I've used to drive in traffic and leads to my business because I have locations set up in different parts of town where I have verified locations and those locations get people that are visiting, they see it in the Google Maps and it brings that business to me. And if you got reviews that you've generated and sent there, it's very, very helpful. So that is the first app I wanna get into. It's still too hot. Okay, number two, we'll get right into it, is LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn is another great app everybody should be using. I use LinkedIn all the time. You can see here, this is a post from earlier today that somebody mentioned me in. Here's my messages. I use LinkedIn to grow my business every day. I can see here's my, my network of people, somebody that send me friend requests. Typically I get a lot of people from India and other places of the world. Then you can see your notifications, very similar to Facebook. This is, I was featured in a post and somebody mentioned me. Uh, I shared this one yesterday. You can see jobs. And if you have the premium LinkedIn account, LinkedIn account which what I have, uh, you got even more features. So you can see here based on your profile, if you're trying to find jobs, which many people are not hiring right now, and then you got your posts. So you can do posts, you can do a photo, you can do a video, you can celebrate a teammate, like one of the guys on my team, like Chris. Uh, I can add a document. I can share that I'm hiring, which is great. I can also find an expert to come work for me. So just a lot of great features and tools of LinkedIn. If I were to view my profile here, you can see my business page. I have a nice strong call to action. I got a nice little cover photo there. I got my gold icon because I'm a premium member. Uh, Project Grow, something I worked on, something I'm still working on. Instagraphics, these are all some of my projects. You can see my dashboard. I've had 500 people view me, 30 of my post views, 35 search appearances I've showed up on. Here's some of my activity. And then you can see my job experience, education, licenses, volunteering, advertising, all the things. Here's my recommendations. I got 11 recommendations. Uh, and just all the information about me and who I am. People who, who viewed me also viewed these people. So just a lot of cool stuff. Definitely wanna take advantage of LinkedIn. Number three is Bitly. So let me show you Bitly. We go into here. I go to my next page. Actually, I think it might be, yeah, right here in the corner. We go into Bitly. And this is where I create custom links. So if I have a YouTube traffic secrets or a Russell Brunson traffic secrets book that I'm trying to get out, 
or I have somebody that's gonna book a call with me, or my speaking media kit, or my Lead Butler Connect case studies. These are all, you can see how many views and traffic. It'll create a short URL. So instead of it being amazon.com forward slash DP forward slash all these numbers and trying to send that link to people, I'm just giving people bit.ly forward slash Raul Lopez Jr. Or I have next gen review if I'm trying to get reviews from my client at next gen. This is a really good tool and it's very easy to use. All you could do is you put the URL in here. So let's just say I wanna do something for uh, one of my newer websites. Let's just say nextgenseptics.com. I'm gonna hit create and it's automatically gonna pop out a new one. I can do custom, I can do NS, NS. Let's see if that works. Next gen septics, boom, I can hit save. NS didn't work, so I'm just gonna put this as next gen, boom. That one didn't work as well. Let's just do this, septics. So now to go to this URL, there we go, created a custom link, you go to bit.ly forward slash next NEX gen septics and it'll take you to the next gen website. This is a trackable link now. Really, really important tool, something that will really help you out. Okay, my next one is LastPass. LastPass is, this is number four. This is a really, really great tool. It keeps track of all of the websites I have and every single website has a unique password that I don't even know what the password is. And the key to this is I have one password for all of my accounts. So when I go into this app, LastPass, I either put in my fingerprint or I put in my master password and that master password gets me into my vault and that vault gives me access to all of my websites and all of my usernames, all of my passwords. So I'm not having to remember these. It's saved me a ton of time of having to reset passwords. It's just a major efficiency tool that you should be using for your business as well. Okay, number five is Google Analytics. And now you're getting to see some of the back end of my business here. I'm gonna pull this open here. You can see Next Gen Septics. Uh, I can pull up all the different clients I have. But this analytics tool lets you see how much time people are spending on your website, what the traffic is, how many conversions you've had, what the time of day is, lots of really great information. What was the action that they took? Uh, where, what the call came from, you can label it by event. There's just tons of information in Google Analytics. I can see real time, if there's somebody on the website, which there's not at the moment. Um, I can see the audience and the overview and see who they are. First time visitors, organic search, direct search, social referrals, the demographics, United States, India, Pakistan, Canada, all these different things. How many sessions total, how many new users. So a lot of new users are visiting the website. So this is really helpful. You can go in here and to see where they landed on, how you acquired them, what their behavior is. You gotta use Google Analytics for your business. If you're not doing that yet, it's gonna give you insights into your website that are gonna help you make changes over time. If you got a high bounce rate, if you got too slow of a load time, just all kinds of really, really important things that you need to have, okay? Now number six is one of the most popular ones right now. It's a really up and coming app and it's TikTok. So if you go to TikTok, you're gonna see here, this is actually used for business a lot nowadays. And you can see here, I've been posting my videos. I got 157 views on this video already. Uh, and I just posted this yesterday. 148 on this one, 246 on this funny one, 141, 39, 787. So you can see here, I'm starting to get more consistent with TikTok. It's a really good way to get your message out. It's short little bits, 15 to 60 seconds and it's just a really good platform to, to get exposure. There's a ton of people on it. It is dominated with more young people, so if you have a young audience, I would definitely recommend using TikTok, okay? Now, number seven is one of my favorite apps ever, uh, and it's called Spark Post. Now, this one isn't free. All these other apps I've showed you so far are free. You don't have to pay anything for them, but this app here can cost a little bit of money because you're gonna need a membership. So what I do is if I wanna create a new social media post, right, what I do is I have a template that I've set up. Now I just hit duplicate, that I can go in here to the duplicated post. Let me check my top ramen. Mmm. Much better. Didn't want it to get cold. Okay, so I can go in here, I can edit the background, I can hit replace. Let's just say I wanted to do something about um, energy. I'm gonna put an energy here. This is a good one right here, I like this one. Or like an idea, this light bulb could be a really good one. I like that lightning bolt that was in there. So I can scale this, I can make this bigger, smaller, I can put the lightning bolt in here. It allows me to shrink it down. It's a drag and drop, super easy to use. Put this here. And then we translate, whoops, translate words into images, right? That's what I do for a living. I translate words into images and I can make this, I can just drag it, make it wider, boom. Put this right here in the center. Look at this, and it's just a matter of seconds. And I can actually swap this logo out if I want to, which I probably would. I would have duplicated my Adrian Graphics one for something like this. 
And other than that, I would put design is translating words into images. Beautiful. Perfect, look at that. Now I can hit done and I can adjust all these other things. I can adjust the order of it, the color, and I can even animate some of this stuff. Let me go back in here and let me show you here. There's animation, so I can actually do custom text like this. It'll animate it, it'll bring it in like this. There's all kinds of different stuff that I can do here. You can do it differently. You can have the text like a flicker. Boom, you can see that and it pops in. All kinds of cool stuff that you can do with this. Then you just hit go up here, you hit save. You can save it as a transparent image or just a static image. Really neat. And you can also export it as an animation. So this is one of my favorites. This is number seven. Now, my next one, number eight, lucky number eight, is I love to learn. I love to consume content. I love to continue to get better. And that's something that you need to be doing as well. And that is Audible. There's no better way to do that than using Audible. Audible is an app where you can do audiobooks. I'm gonna have to update the app here, but I have tons and tons of audiobooks. Whoops. I have tons, dang it. I have tons and tons of audiobooks in here, expert secrets. Um, all kinds of really great audiobooks that you can actually listen to and you can go through books a lot faster Especially when you're working and doing stuff. You can have it in the background You can have it in your headphones it's Just a really good way to continue to learn improve your skills and you can take notes and just it's just a really good app to use to consume content now it is uh, it isn't free as well. That is a paid app, it's, but it's pretty cheap I think I pay like $15 a month. I get a couple books a month. It's a it's a no-brainer deal. Okay, now number nine is Cam Scanner. Many of you guys probably haven't heard of Cam Scanner. I'm just gonna pull it up here. We go to Cam Scanner. Let's see here. Cam Scanner is an app where I can actually take a picture of something. So let's just do this. When this comes up here, boom, it's popping up. Okay, just give it a second. We'll take another bite of my ramen. Mm. Okay, you hit the little camera. Hit the camera icon, there we go. Take a picture of my sweet daughter. Let's just do this. It doesn't really have to be perfect. I can show you at an angle here. Boom, right? Take that picture. Now what it's gonna do, is gonna find the edges. I can actually click and drag, find that edge. I can click and drag and find this edge. Boom, right there. Get in specifically, get in right there. Boom, now I hit the little check mark. Boom, look at that. How perfect is that? I can go to the original, go to lighten, I can go black and white. I can just save it and then I can name the file at the top, export it, send it to myself, and I can do multiple pages. This is basically bypassing needing a scanner. This is what I use for all my scanning, okay? Now number 10 is Meetup, and I believe I have Meetup in here in this group as well. Let's see here, meetup.com. This is where you can create networking groups, you can create your own group, you can go and get involved in other groups. I have my digital marketing group training group here and I'm a part of a couple other ones. Um, as well, so this is a great one to be part of collaborative environments. You can do Zoom groups right now because nobody's meeting in person, so gotta get on Meetup. It's a really effective tool. It's a really good way to get your name out there, to build relationships, to meet people, and to just continue to grow your business. Relationships is key. You gotta do that, okay? The next one I have, let me pull this up in here, is Masterclass. Let me just type that in here. You got the Masterclass app. I don't know if I'm even logged in here yet, but Masterclass is a really good one. I typically watch this on my computer. Uh, but I have it open. Yep, I, I am logged in. So you can watch training and other content from some of the greatest minds in the world. Ron Howard, Ron Howard, Gordon Ramsay, David Lynch, Timbaland, Aaron Franklin, all kinds of really great people that you can learn from. And they all have training and classes. I've watched a few of them now. Uh, Art of Negotiation, Malcolm Gladwell. I've watched a number of them and it's just a really, really helpful tool. You gotta be using something like that to just continue to learn. I divide my time up in thirds, so I spend 30% of my time learning, 30% of my time consuming or uh, creating, and then another 30% of my time just continuing to have conversations and communications and my relationships. That's the way I've broken it down for myself and it just works best for me that way. Um, now the next one I wanna show you is Medium. Medium is another great app, let me show you here. Medium is a great app where you can actually write. So if you're a blogger or you're an article writer, or anything like that, you can use Medium. You can see all my notifications I get here. And these are articles that people have written. You don't have to be a professional writer to write in here, but I've written a few of them myself. You can go in here, look at mine. I can see here, where's uh, stats. I can see C profile. There we go. And you can see the stuff that I've written in here, the articles and stuff that I've posted. If it ever loads. Well, it doesn't seem to be loading for some reason now, but you can see here, 
It'll even tell you how long the read is. Just a really cool app. This is a nice, nice, well done article. You can do backlinks to your website from here. If you write articles, you can link it back to your website. Just another really great resource. If you're not using Medium, I would. I think it's uh, one of my favorite tools, and I definitely need to be using it more often, okay? The next one is a really nice tool to use, especially if you have a tablet or something like that. Let me go into my programs here. I hope I didn't remove it, because um, I just had to pull a bunch of apps off to save some space. Yeah, Adobe Clip, I have it still. So you can go into Adobe Clip. Now, if you have Adobe Creative Cloud membership, which I'm guessing you do, you can just log in from here. Here it is. And these are just some of the projects that I have in here, videos that I've done. You can create new, new projects straight from your device. You can pull them from your camera. You can pull them from your Creative Cloud account from Dropbox. If I were just to go in here from my device and I were to grab something from my camera or from Instagram, let's just say this one here, this is just a video that I downloaded this morning that I thought was really cool. You can go you can do automatic or free form. If I wanna go free form, I can cut, chop, crop, do colors, all kinds of really cool stuff. That change, change the filters on it, make it look different. Just a really nice way that I can export it as an MP4. Just a really, really good tool, okay? Next one, which you can also do for free. They have a free account, uh, but then there's also some paid upgrade options is Dropbox. This is where I store all of my files for my company, I have easy access to send them to clients. I got, you can see here, this is just the main main folder. And then inside of here, I have my clients folder. So I can just show you in here. My clients folder and inside of here, I have all of my clients listed. You can see a ton, a ton of clients. And then inside of each one of these folders, uh, I have I have subfolders for each of the things that I do for them. So if you were to just go to like, let's just go up to C here. Uh, let's just go to Crunchy Cottage. Where is it at here? Let's go to Crunchy Cottage, Crunchy Cottage, Crunchy Cottage. For some reason, oh, that's because it's the wrong wrong clients folder. So I have another folder here, here we go. Here's my main clients folder. So I can go into C's, go to Crunchy Cottage, and you can see in here, I have all my subfolders, brand, gift cards, photo shoot, products, social, videos, website images, just a lot of really, really great stuff in here. Stuff that you should be using for your business. Dropbox is a really killer tool, okay? Now number 15 is the newer one that I've been using and it's called YT Studio, YouTube Studio. And this gives you a background snapshot of your business or of your videos on YouTube and how they're performing. You can see the, the most recent stats, your analytics, uh, how many views I've had. My most recent video that I did on digital marketing scams was ranked way higher than any of my other videos except for the time. You can see how many views I have. You can see your comments, all kinds of really great stuff. There's just, you can see per video, the amount of analytics that this shows you. So if I go into here, I can actually see more detailed analytics. I can hit view analytics. And boom, in here I can see how much time that they're watching it, where I'm losing them, uh, avoid being scammed online. Uh, I can see where the traffic is coming from, likes versus dislikes. Looks like nobody disliked the video, which is great. I can see revenue, I can see impressions, I can see all of the deep information. Facebook brought me a ton of traffic. Uh, other videos that sent traffic to this video. Uh, my audience, I can see that most of them, 20% of them were in the US. Uh, and it'll aggregate more information as time goes on, what people clicked, just all kinds of really cool content. So YouTube Studio, YT Studio is a really good tool uh, that you should be using for your business, okay? Now number 16, so we're gonna run out of time here soon, uh, is the Authenticator app. Now the Authenticator app, this, what this does is if you have two-factor authentication up, I use Zoho, I use Facebook, and I use BitGrail for my cryptocurrency, this tool allows you to have these custom codes in here, you open it up, you drop it in, and it automatically authenticates your account and it keeps your accounts safe. I use this Authenticator app all the time. It's probably once a day, if not more, when I'm logging into various accounts of mine, especially Zoho. You gotta use that for your business. It's really important to keep your stuff secure and safe inside of your Authenticator app, okay? Now, number 17, and this is a great one because I, like I said, I listen to a ton of content. I'm always consuming content. I use Spotify. Spotify does have a free version, but they also have a paid version. I'm on their paid version and I listen to podcasts. You can see here, I have this HBR idea cast, Second Life. These are ones that they're suggesting to me. Here's some of the stuff on my playlist. Um, I have a few death, sex and money, side hustle school. There's just a lot of great podcasts that I listen to. I listen to music. So this is the one, this is a faith growth podcast by my buddy Cody, uh, B2B growth. This is a great podcast. And then here's my podcast. So I've used my podcast to grow. You can check this out. It's called project grow. And here's all 30 something episodes that I have of my podcast. That you can listen to and learn a bit, a little bit more about my journey. It's really cool. Okay. Then the next one you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save as much time as possible every day and not spend it chasing or answering phone calls from telemarketers and scammers. Well, 
Mr. Number will help you do that. Mr. Number is an app that will show you who the person is. If they're connected to social media, it'll give you information about them. Just a ton of really good information and you can add people to your blocked list. So you can see here, I've reported two people as telemarketers. I've added them to my block list. Really cool, free app. I don't pay anything for it, but I really love this app. It's helped me save a ton of time dealing with telemarketers, okay? And I'm gonna have to put this thing back in the microwave because I know for sure my top ramen is cold by now. Um, and then number 19, and this is honestly something I'm fairly new to, but I'm already seeing a ton of value from and people that I'm talking to, it's called Discord. You may have never even heard of Discord, but this is a rap app that is up and coming as well that is getting a ton of traffic. You can see here there's no one here. Whoops, add a friend. You can add people to Discord. This is just another really great tool to add to your business. Check it out. Jump on there, invite your friends. It's just another platform I see YouTubers using. I just know it's gonna be a big one. Uh, I've just done some research on it. I just see this as a huge potential uh, app for you, okay? And then the last one that I use, and I've heard some bad sides to it, so I'll cover a little bit about that, is Zoom. Zoom is where you can hold meetings, conferences with multiple people, I believe up to 100 people if you're on the paid version. I think up to 10 if you're on the free version. They limit your time if you're on the free version, but I use Zoom all the time for video conferences and meetings. In fact, when I do my podcasts, I do them on Zoom, and then I have to password protect them after because people can see your Zooms. So if you're sharing private company information, make sure you lock that stuff down with a password in those Zoom meetings. Make people put a password in to be able to watch them. After the fact, it's really important to do that, something that you really should be taking into consideration. So those are the 20 apps for 2020 that I recommend you use. These are gonna be things that you can use to make you money, to make profit, to make money online, all great things to increase your wealth, increase your income, and just build the business of your dreams. So no matter what economy you're in, you should be in growth mode. Don't retreat, don't cut back. This is the time to go all in, double down, because your competitors are running away scared. So that's what I got for you guys today. I love you all. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And as always, keep looking up. Don't judge me. Don't judge me.